Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a quick video on the differences between Unreal Editor for Fortnite and Unreal Engine itself. This is especially for new people that are just brand new to Unreal Engine and you might not know anything about it. Be very, very confusing about what's going on with Unreal Editor for Fortnite and Unreal Engine. And I know in the beginning I was, I had a lot of misconceptions about Unreal Editor for Fortnite that have been completely shattered. So Unreal Engine is definitely the mothership. It is the original OG. It is so feature rich. It's just mind boggling all the things that Unreal Engine can do. It's massive. It's a massive program and it does a lot of things. Unreal Editor for Fortnite, by contrast, is just small, much smaller than Unreal Engine is. Unreal Editor for Fortnite will never be Unreal Engine. Unreal Editor for Fortnite is based on Unreal Engine. It's a slimmed down version, a much more slimmed down version of Unreal Engine. So in a sense, it's kind of misleading to even have them separate because UFEN is based on Unreal Engine, but it's not Unreal Engine. And so, it has things in it that Unreal Engine doesn't have and will probably never have. So Unreal Editor for Fortnite has all these things called creative devices, and you can think of those as the building blocks for your game. And there are all these assets that are ready to put together. You just have to hook them up. And there's also what I see as an overlap between, and this is really interesting to me because there's this huge overlap, growing overlap between what Unreal Editor for Fortnite does and Unreal Engine. And that includes things like materials, Niagara effects, the sequencer, and some cinematics of cameras and things like that, that they are almost exactly the same. So in Unreal Editor for Fortnite, you can build any kind of Niagara effect you want. And in Unreal Editor for Fortnite, you have access to almost all the materials too. It's just almost literally a duplicate of Unreal Engine, the materials and the Niagara and the sequencer too. Cinematics, if we look at this, let's just kind of go over this list a little bit. So Unreal Editor for Fortnite and Unreal Engine both allow game creation and cinematics. So if you want to make a game, you could make a game in Unreal Editor or you could try to make a game in Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine excels in cinematics, especially with MetaHumans and all the, all the features it has. But Unreal Editor for Fortnite is catching up. <laughs> they really are. In fact, one of my goals is to show just how much you can do with Unreal Editor for Fortnite as far as visuals go. It's pretty, it's pretty mind-boggling. One main difference between them is Unreal Editor for Fortnite offers the promise of immediate game publishing with the potential to earn right away. It might take you, I don't know, two or three weeks, you could probably figure out what's going on in Unreal Editor for Fortnite and publish your first game within a month maybe even faster than that. I think I saw somebody said they built a game in 10 minutes or something like that. But it probably shows too. Unreal Engine, when you make your game in Unreal Engine, you're on your own. There's no, I mean, how you distribute it, how you publish it, whether it's X-rated or G-rated, that's, that's all up to you. So Unreal Engine, you're kind of on your own. Unreal Editor for Fortnite, it has the ecosphere already set up for you. So you literally can publish your game right away and they'll take care of the distribution, everything. Now that there's a downside to that. And the downside is, is that, like I just said, Unreal Engine is not moderated, but UEFN is. So there's a rating system. Your game has to be reviewed before it can be published. It could very well be rejected. In fact, I had a game rejected because the character smoked a cigar, if you can believe that. And promotion of tobacco in any form is prohibited. So it is, I don't want to say it's goody two shoes, but they have their rules. So let's say you wanted to make a game, Grand Theft Auto, forget Unreal Editor for Fortnite. Just that's off the table right away. You'd go straight to Unreal Engine, even if it took you <laughs> two years to make your game. Now, speaking of Unreal Engine, again, another big difference between them is Unreal Engine does require a knowledge of Blueprint Visual Scripting and or C++. The good news is, is that Blueprint Visual Scripting is not that hard to learn, and you can probably learn it in a couple weeks, two or three weeks, you can start getting confident and doing some things. Are you going to be able to make a game within a month? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe Rock, Paper, Scissors or something like that. I think there's a book on Rock, Paper, Scissors that you can buy to do that. And, you know, the last thing, and this is what, you know, this is why everything's changing for me personally, 
is that Unreal Editor for Fortnite has a new coding language called Verse, which allows for more complex gameplay, but it is not required. You don't need to know Verse to publish games in Unreal Editor for Fortnite, but it's probably to your advantage if you want to create more sophisticated games. So those are kind of the main key points that I can think of. I guess the question is really what do you want to do? Like, do you want to make a Grand Theft Auto game? Then Unreal Engine, full steam ahead. Do you just want to make some kind of playful games or even pretty good games? Then maybe Unreal Editor for Fortnite. And I want to show you this because I want to show you the misconception that I had. Is I didn't realize how good a game could be in Unreal Editor for Fortnite. So if we come in here right now, this is a game. And it's called Stronghold. And this is a really sophisticated game. There's all kinds of stuff going on here. I mean, there's enemies. You can see them through here. It's it's no joke. It's it's really no joke. This game is really it's really something. And this was all built in Unreal Editor for Fortnite. That's why I say, you know, it's not what you think it is. This is really turning out to be a powerful game making tool. I would almost say, unless you're planning on making a cinematic professional movie or a AAA game, I would say if you start with Unreal Editor for Fortnite, it's one of the probably the best introductions you can have just because you'll learn the interface, you'll learn how to navigate, and then when you go into Unreal Engine, you'll be so much more at home. And the other good thing that I like about Unreal Editor for Fortnite is that you can see results right away. So you could make a game like in three weeks, four weeks, and just have that under your belt and know, hey, I can do this. And then you could jump into Unreal Engine to kind of take it to, the, to another level. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care. Have a great day. This is just my some thoughts for people that are just getting started. So I'll talk to you later.